A year after facing the axe, Ian Foster will step down after four years in charge of the All Blacks following the Rugby World Cup as New Zealand looked to bounce back from a record defeat by South Africa. Foster made it clear in March that he will not renew his contract after the World Cup, which begins on September 8, when New Zealand play hosts France in the opening game. Scott Robertson, who led the Canterbury Crusaders to seven successive Super Rugby titles, has already been appointed as Foster's replacement to coach the All Blacks. New Zealand left Auckland with high hopes of returning with the William Webb Ellis Trophy. Foster was blunt when asked if he thinks New Zealand can win the World Cup. Yes, it's a well-tested group that has gone through a lot of adversity, stayed strong and found solutions. Their optimism was fueled by an 11-match unbeaten run stretching back to August 2022, until South Africa took five tries to defeat New Zealand 35-7 in a World Cup friendly at Twickenham. It was the All Blacks' heaviest ever loss to South Africa, a difficult night for Foster and his team. For straight wins over Argentina, South Africa and back-to-back -back wins over Australia in 2023 boosted confidence until the Springboks avenged their loss in Auckland the previous month. New Zealand's indiscipline took its toll at Twickenham as blocking Scott Barrett was sent off for two yellow cards, leaving his team a man down for 42 minutes. Foster conceded that the defeat felt like a superior blow, but it was no reason to panic as the team left London for a training camp in Germany. This performance is going to take a lot of weight off of us. No one is going to grade us now, which is really nice. Let's just quietly prepare and get stuck. If you're looking forward to seeing New Zealand bounce back from their recent defeat and face the Rugby World Cup under a new manager, leave a like. Share your thoughts on the transition from Ian Foster to Scott Robertson and how you think the All Blacks will fare in the competition. Foster's confidence and the team's determination are evident, and the journey promises to be an exciting one. Leave your comments on New Zealand's World Cup prospects and how they can overcome this setback. Let's cheer together for a great performance!